Sally, this is Harry Burns. Harry, this is Sally Albright. Nice to meet you. When Harry Met Sally is really the movie that kind of started the 90s romantic comedy boom. After it came out in 1989, there was a lot more interest in the genre. People knew that it could be a box office kind of juggernaut to create a great romantic comedy. Women are very practical, even Ingrid Bergman, which is why she gets on the plane at the end of the movie. Not a lot of people give Meg Ryan credit for the amount of comedy she does in the movie. She's really kind of the comedic thrust of the film, and Billy Crystal is often just reacting to her. And I don't want the ice cream on top. I want it on the side. And I like strawberry instead of vanilla if you have it. If not, then no ice cream, just whipped cream. But only if it's real. If it's out of a can, then nothing. You see throughout a lot of takes Billy Crystal improvising, but she's matching him beat for beat. She's just a great comedic actress who deserves more credit than she gets. Something that When Harry Met Sally did that really influenced movies that came after it was its visual style. Something that's not credited a lot, but Rob Reiner and director of photography Barry Sonnenfeld really wanted to create backgrounds that were super lush and beautiful and romantic. They wanted to juxtapose Harry and Sally bickering with each other and just ignoring the romance and beauty around themselves. It's something that other movies picked up on and romantic comedies since have all kind of had that visual style, even if they don't know why they're doing it. A Sheldon can do your income taxes. If you need a root canal, Sheldon's your man. But humping and pumping is not Sheldon's strong suit. This, of course, was a big turning point for screenwriter Nora Ephron as well. She would go on to write and direct some of the biggest romantic comedies. And in a lot of ways, I think Meg Ryan embodied the voice of Nora Ephron the best throughout the 90s. Oh, God. Oh. One of the things Nora Ephron credits Meg Ryan with is actually coming up with the idea to fake an orgasm in the diner. That was totally her idea. She played off the script as written and suggested it, and everybody loved it. And of course, now it's the most iconic scene in the film. Yes! 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 Oh! 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 Oh, God!